So, VP Nand Kumar, the MD and CEO at Manapuram Finance, joins in to highlight exactly that. Mr. Nand Kumar, morning. Uh, firstly, wanted to understand how much of your loan book as a percentage really comes in from the state of Kerala. So, uh, out of our consolidated portfolio of uh, around 17,000 crores, uh, the total portfolio in Kerala is uh, approximately 1,100 crores. So out of that, uh, a major portion over 70% is uh, by way of gold loan, the gold security is there. Uh, the, the one concern area is microfinance, where is, which is around 200 crores. It comes to around uh, slightly over 1% of our consolidated portfolio. That also we have analyzed uh, in the flood affected areas, uh, uh, the portfolio uh, will be around 100 crores. So uh, the, uh, the, uh, we don't uh, expect much impact on account of this flood situation, but uh, we are uh, concerned about the flood situation. Uh, we, are, we are sympathetic uh, about that. And uh, the collections also will go by what uh, the uh, in industry associations do. Uh, we will follow that. I understand the human angle, but purely if you have to talk about the business angle here, uh, are you yeah. at are you in talks with anyone at the industry level that you may be looking at some kind of a wave off for your microfinance borrower, especially in the state of Kerala? Is there thinking on similar lines which you got from the association or from the ministry or from the government? Not so far. We have, the association is yet to meet on this flood situation because the, uh, many people in Kerala and our own employees were uh, in the rescue operations, they were working, many of them were working in camps, etc, etc. Our foundations also, our members also were working. So the association didn't get the time to meet, but uh, we had some discussions, uh, yeah, informal discussions, so that is what is decided is, yeah, we'll meet uh, uh, somewhere uh, in next week and take a call, uh, uh, all the members shall follow that pattern. Always we will have it, uh, we'll take a sympathetic view of, about the situation, a practical view about the situation. And uh, that's the decision so far. What we're trying to assess here is, uh, Mr. Nand Kumar, whether or not, you know, the people of Kerala would actually pledge uh, more gold to rebuild homes, you know, because I guess you can't really assess all the damage in just a span of two days now that the rains have somewhat receded and water levels have gone down. Would that also mean more gold loan demand? Uh, and would we see higher gold rates? How is it that you're actually assessing the repercussions of the floods? There could be some demand, but uh, in Kerala, uh, because for the temporary needs, uh, the people are in the habit of pledging gold, all the sections are in the habit of pledging gold in a situation of urgency. Uh, so the, there can be a spot in demand for some time. Uh, the, uh, I think uh, it may be only temporary. And given this uh, temporary demand, uh, how are you looking at, uh, you know, essentially handling uh, the risk of delinquencies just as, as of now? Uh, is that a, a clear and present danger for you? The, uh, we, do, uh, we don't have much concern about delinquency, yes, uh, you know, the, the credit loss. So some delay will be there, some, uh, on account of some delays, there will be some uh, delinquency, of course, uh, but uh, I, I think the, the scope for credit loss, uh, we don't anticipate much. What about new business? Uh, borrowing against gold, uh, the loss of business which has happened because Kerala was shut down, Will that be a sizable loss or a sizable, uh, you know, dent for your this quarter number? You know, I understand the human angle completely, but this conversation is yeah. more about understanding impact for your shareholders since uh, you are listed. Yeah, so there can be uh, some negative impact during this quarter, but uh, yeah, in the coming quarters, I hope uh, that whatever the negative impact will get adjusted towards the end of this year. Percentage of your business or percentage of your total business is coming from Kerala? 
uh, it, it is around seven uh, percent of our business is coming from Kerala. Oh, so that's not a large number, which clearly means that if seven percent gets affected, you know, minutely, no, the disruption see, will not seven, be more than uh, one one and a half percent. Out of out of that seven percent, uh, the seventy uh, nearly seventy five percent of that is in gold, gold loan. Uh, so uh, um, the, uh, the gold loan, we don't feel like uh, yeah, uh, there could be a, any principal loss, but there could be some interest loss, uh, which uh, we will gladly accept given the situation in Kerala. Uh, so uh, the the, the, um, the the collections uh, may get delayed by uh, two three months. This is what is expected. So it, it will not lead to much loss. And uh, the microfinance uh, is the uh, could be the area of concern where uh, yeah, uh, we cannot collect for some time now, and uh, we have to uh, give them a repayment holy day also. Uh, so, but in flood affected area we have assessed uh, yesterday. It's only under crores out of our 17,000 crore uh, consolidated portfolio. So uh, that also we hope uh, yeah, it will be collected over a period of time. In Chennai floods also this was the situation because uh, we will continue lending to them at a, uh, a lower rate. They want money. So our operations will, uh, lending operations will go without any interruption. So they, uh, it will be helpful for them. And also the collections, how do the collection come? There is a uh, big demand for uh, the labor and other uh, 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 other SME functions here, uh, like uh, 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 painting or uh, the, uh, welding, etc., etc. So uh, the, this can uh, the, there can be a spurt in uh, the demand for these uh, the, uh, activities. So uh, they, they, uh, they'll be able to repay these loans uh, because of this. There'll be their uh, cash flow will be better after. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the situation coming back to normalcy. Now, the water has receded and the situation has uh, almost come to normalcy in many parts of the state. Yeah, good to hear that. Those are the ground reports that we're as well picking up that water levels have indeed receded and rains have stopped uh, finally. Mr. Nand Kumar, great having you on the show. Thank you so much. And we'll speak again once you have a better handle of what really is the uh, damage and what it would mean really materially for you. Good speaking you. with you. Thank, Thank you. you once again. Let's also hear out the MD and CEO 